We beat to rap what key beat to lock, but I'm cool like that. You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the, the number one station for independent artists. I'm cool like that. I'm cool. You're now rocking with the best, the best Luminary Sounds. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes. Go ahead and miss it. I did be dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. You are so dabbing, Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great time to be here with Junior Leto, Francois the Great, Missy Talks, That's right. and our guest. Let's go. And our guest, Nick Sarnicola. What's up? I got it hey. right. Hey. Nick Sarnicola is in the building today. That's right. And if you're wondering who this individual is, he can sell you anything. He can sell you <laughs> anything. Milk. Milk in a straw. He said he was anything, ready to tell it all. Anything. The billion Man. dollar in sales guy with the Fords by Fire podcast. How you doing, sir? I'm great. Are you from Detroit, by the way? No, sir. I'm not from Detroit. Uh, no, I see, no. I see the, okay, I was from Michigan. That's why. I said oh, he okay, sees okay. a D. He sees a D. Okay, okay, okay. okay, the, okay. The actual. Uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, uh, Davis. Last name Davis. 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 Yeah, Davis. yeah, 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 yeah. I want to get into your sales, but more importantly, I want to know for everybody listening and in the room right now. What do you bench press right now? Is it 255? Okay, What's true. the max right now? Because I need a spot partner, you know, and you could be that guy. The uh, most important question Nick of is the, the hour. Man. I mean, I stopped maxing in high school, so just, <laughs> just 225 for some weights, uh, couple oh, reps. 225 or something like. For some reps. Oh Four, my. five, something six. Like. 225 for six. Absolutely. It's, it's a pleasure to have you yeah. here, Nick. Let's talk about your story, You know who you are, and how did you get to where you are today? Well, I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan, originally. Um, Michigan in the house. Super blue-collar, middle-class upbringing. All four grandparents worked at the same factory. Had a trickle-down effect. Oh, wow. I knew I wanted to be rich one day. Can't sing, can't dance, can't rhyme, can't act. Not going <laughs> to do anything illegal, so that left sports. <laughs> okay. Went on, played college baseball. While playing college baseball, got introduced to entrepreneurship. And what position? Center field. Yeah. Nice. Lefty, really fast. So He got that arm, y'all. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it was crazy that nowhere in high school, 14,000 hours of kindergarten through 12th grade, did the word entrepreneurship come up once. No book, no mm. teacher, no no nothing, no class. So when I got introduced to it, I saw it like, oh, wait a second. Entrepreneurship just requires um, a lot of heart and a, lo a lot of passion and drive where sports or anything related in that field requires a uh, physical gift. Okay. Right? So music requires a physical gift, right? Sports require a physical gift. Entrepreneurship is just pure drive, heart, desire, and passion. So I went after entrepreneurship, made my first million at 25, and I became a decamillionaire in my early 30s. And now I'm in my early 40s and got a couple kids. And So when you yeah. say made the first million, you mean in sales million or in? Earnings. Earnings, earnings. million. Earnings. Okay, all right, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I need yeah. a loan real quick. What is yeah. Mecca Millions? <laughs> uh, is that De what you Deca said? is ten, 10 or more. 10, yeah. 10, oh, okay. 10, 10, 10 to 99. That is you know how I mean? much I am not a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we different tax bracket. It's okay. Man, that's, that's <laughs> awesome, my man. I see here as well on your Instagram, because we always do our, our good old research. research. And I see you all, you always have a lot of quotes. Yeah. What is one of your favorite quotes right now? Mm. Um, don't have a wishbone where a backbone ought to be. Don't have a wishbone. Okay. Okay, repeat that. <laughs> don't have a wishbone, don't wish for stuff, where your backbone ought to be. Meaning mm -hmm. stand uh -huh. up, go for it, work, fight for it. Don't just wish. Don't have a wishbone where your backbone ought to be. Wow. It's actually Clementine Paddleford, and it says, my, the real quote is, my daughter, comma, don't have a wishbone or a backbone out of be. So oh, it's I a like mother that. talking to her daughter. Wow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that on my story and tag her. No, no, no tag, yeah, well, tag that's, her. Tag her. Yeah, uh, definitely. And I've got that's actually awesome. a, a, neon, like a neon sign in my living room above my television that, that says that. Don't have a wishbone or a backbone. It's awesome. Be. I've never heard wow. that before. Yeah. Never heard Shout that out before. Clementine Battleford. Shout yeah. out. <laughs> Shout, Shout out. out. <laughs> so I do have a question. What, what was a defining moment in your life that taught you it's okay to fail because you know that you're going to succeed due Ooh. to your failures? You know, it, um, I don't know if it's... It, it was never a thing of it's okay to fail. It's a thing of um, never stop, never quit, keep going, keep driving. So in, when you have that mentality, you don't even recognize failure as failure in that moment. Okay. Right? So you don't stop to go, oh, I'm failing right now. Right. So it's not even a recognition of it. You're just okay. running, right? Um, and what will push somebody to run that fast or that hard or that focused has got to be a desperate why. It's not a why. People are like, oh, what's your why? No. I almost said almost said a swear word. Almost said a swear word. Oh, <laughs> okay. yes. oh, oh, right. Shout out to Missy with the Thank disclaimer. You for, okay, catching yourself huh, right that's, there. That's BS. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you need you need a desperate why. Something that is so powerful, emotional. Something that your back's against the wall. So when when you quote unquote are failing, you don't even recognize. You just keep going. Wow. So mm. did somebody teach wow. you to be that way, or was that something that you kind of learned to be yourself? 
Yeah, um, a, a little bit of both. Okay. So I think it was a little bit was innate, and then I just started pouring gasoline on the fire by attracting information that fed that story, right? Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say a little bit was was innate. Um, I, I did a speech in 10th grade, 11th grade, um, which was everything in life is mindset, which hmm. makes no sense. There was no internet then. We weren't downloading videos. There wasn't you spoke it into existence. Yes, yeah. pretty much, yeah. And yeah. what it was was the movie Rudy. Does anyone remember the movie Rudy? Yes, yes I, I do. I love the movie that Rudy. That movie landed love so it. hard for me that in, by in 11th grade, I was like, if this guy can do that, anything's possible if you have the right mindset. Right. And then I just started building on top of that with the right books and mentors, et cetera. And I mean, That's I know amazing. we're not here to talk about Rudy, but I mm. just love that scene where they pick him up and he's yeah. still at Notre Dame, the only person to get carried off the field like that. Yeah. I mean, wow. One, one tackle. That's it. One tackle. One tackle. Okay. One tackle. Right. One tackle. He's on the board. Right. Well, I yeah. need to watch this movie so I can get this mentality. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, it's a classic. Rudy's a classic. <laughs> Who is Rudy? <laughs> yeah, Rudy's a classic yeah. for sure. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Sure. So uh, we have you here. We're going to be doing a lot of things with you, a lot of games and want to get your interactions. But we have a thing called Sip Tear Light It Up. Right, okay. and it's tip to light up. We listen to an independent artist music. Okay, and if it's really good, you'll hear us all light it up. Okay, inside the in the microphone. So you'll I can't hear. swear, but y'all can light it up. Okay, we, we can light it up. Yeah, <laughs> we can light it. Up. Exactly. It's, it's, kind of, it's still a little legal to light it up, right? <laughs> and if we do not like the song, Missy typically will lead by sipping a little bit of tea. Okay, yeah. like it. Yeah. Yeah. A little, a little Kermit bit. the Frog. A, a little okay. bit of Kermit the Frog action, you yeah. know. And we let them down delicately because it's their intellectual property. We say, you know, yeah. it's, it's not our cup of tea, and, and that's okay. So the artist that we're gonna be listening to is Jeff Barnett. But here's our drop, and we'll get right back to you. I'm gonna start this week off fresh. The harmony yeah. is on point. Let's put him in roto, okay? Oh, oh roto. Ever, I'm 